Well, welcome. In this video lecture, we are looking at the book Think Python, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist. We're looking at the second edition. The authors are Alan, Jeffrey, and Chris. I'm going to be doing video lectures. My name is Arthur Solomon. I'm going to be working with you throughout these videos. Thank you. Exercise 1.1. We have five main questions. Uh, in a print statement, what happens if you leave out one of the parentheses or both? If you're trying to print a string, what happens if you leave out one of the question mark or the single quotes or both? What can you do with the minus sign to make a negative number like negative two? What happens if you do the plus sign twice? In math notation, leading zeros are okay, as in zero two. What happens if you try this in Python? Lastly, what happens if you have two values with no operator between them? What happens then? So let's go ahead, let's jump in and try to see what if we can get those answers. Alright, so I have Python open, print, we have parentheses, single quote, hello, single quote, parentheses. It prints the word hello. So what happens if we leave out one of the parentheses or both? So print, I'm going to leave out the leading or the uh, trailing parentheses. Give this an error. So print, parentheses, single colon, hello, single colon. You'll notice that it doesn't actually return a value. Uh, as a paste. So we actually do need to end with a parentheses. If we uh, don't, and then it doesn't actually function. So print single, hello, single. So even if we do a parentheses a little uh, ways away, it will actually work. It just it's expecting code in those areas. What about if we prevent the leading parentheses? So, single quote, hello, single quote. We don't get a valid syntax because it's expecting our beginning parentheses. So, which one we leave out does actually matter. Question two, if you're trying to print a string, what happens if you leave out one of the quotes. So, print parentheses, single quote, hello, in parentheses. Does not like that, it's expecting both. Print parentheses, single quote, hello, single quote. So that's what we'd be expecting. If we remove the leading Single quote, again, same error. We're expecting both quotes, and we only get one, it doesn't work. So that answers question two. You can use a minus sign to make a negative number like negative two. What happens if you add two plus signs before a number? So let's do two plus plus two. So it works. Let's double check. Four plus plus four. So 2 plus 2 works. What about if we do 3 pluses? So 2 plus 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 2. So we can do our operators. Let's do negatives. So 2 minus 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 2. That's a little weird. 2 minus negative 2. So I mean actually that does kind of make a little bit more sense. 4 minus minus 4 does give us 8. What about negative 4 minus 4? Negative 8, which that's kind of what we were expecting. With the negative, a negative minus a negative number is a positive. So that's kind of why we are getting the positive 4, the positive 8. Like That's to be expected. So we've answered question 3. Question 4 in math notation, leading zeros. Are okay, so what happens if we do 0, 2, plus 2? 
it does not like leading zeros at all. So leading zeros, here we're looking at zero, use a zero with a lowercase o for octal integers. So this is assuming we're trying to do different types of integers. So leading uh, zeros and decimal are not permitted. No, no. So that answers question four. So what happens if we have two values with no operator in between them? Two, three. Prints the, the number. Two, space, three. So it depends on if there's a space or if there's no space. If there is no space, it prints the character. If there is a space, two, space, three, for example, it's invalid syntax. So that is the end of exercise 1.1. That concludes this chapter. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out and leave me a comment or a question. I'll try to get those answered as quickly as I can. Again, thank you, and I look forward to working with you in later modules.